I'm Lance Yelvington for Cyber Country. You know, artist Jason O'Toole tells us he's not exactly country, but he's not exactly rock and roll either. And in this Cyber Country Minute, he'll tell us why that's exactly the way he wants it. Jason O'Toole. Yeah, Jason, um, uh, where do you come from? Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. So how did you get started in country music? Because Cincinnati's not usually the first place you think of when you think of yeah, country. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually play pop music um, here in Nashville. So a blend of pop and soul music that I've been influenced by for many years. So it's like country, Americana, folk, right? Uh, for my style, it's more pop, so... When I heard you sing, I got the impression that you had more of a blend of everything from John Mayer to, um, I don't know, Petty Globalist to a lot of your different uh, crossover acts. Yeah, yeah. Um, crossover acts are good. Um, I feel, depending on the song, um, you can kind of see my different influences. Take an interest in being a writer and being a singer. I was about 17, um, and there are a few artists that, that started inspiring me. Um, and I felt like I just needed to do it. I just had to start playing guitar, um, so I picked up guitar, bought it that weekend actually, um, and then played, gosh, like five hours a day for a couple months straight yeah, until I got into it. It's really something you just dropped into casually. You know, I'll give that a try. Anymore, yeah, well, I played. Uh, I actually grew up playing percussion. Um, in drum set, so I played in the jazz ensemble at, at school. And, uh, we did some touring and uh, some of that, um, but one thing led to another, and I kind of put that down for a while. Uh, and I ended up picking up the guitar instead. I fell in love with the guitar, and I'd always written poetry, uh, so I, I kind of blended that style of, of writing poetry and, and playing music and started writing songs to it. So. Um, when you got involved with um, Teddy and folks who were pieces in the band, yes. um, what was that like? I mean, because it's great to come up and sure. turn and learn, but you know, when you get like this, you've got to have sure, a chance sure. to the big table. Yeah, actually, uh, I played it, played an audition for them in their kind of their A and R room, I guess, um, in front of six of the guys um, and girls, and um, they liked my stuff, and um, they, they asked if I'd like to be on the show, and so um, here I am today. Well, why should somebody come out and see a show of yours to buy an album? Why should they come out? Man, it's a heavy question. I guess if you like it, just come out and endorse it. Um, you know, I try to be—I try to be an artist that kind of first connects with the people, um, rather than kind of puts my album in your face and say bye, bye, bye. Um, I think the important thing is to, to really feel like you have a, a, a wholesome connection with the crowd, with the audience, um, in order to have an experience, rather than, uh, you know, I have five dollars and I'm going to a show, so why not? You know, I think it's more than that. I think music is worth more than that.